Good morning everyone. Good morning. We are on the way to Windora. I believe there's not a great deal to do in Windora, but right. it's it's our yes. gateway to get to Birdsville. So Oh I can't wait I can't wait for that actually. To Birdsville? Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Well I want to go to Birdsville so we can go down to the South Australia border. Yeah, but I'm just I don't know, I'm just looking forward to going to Birdsville. Okay. Alright, well let's get to it's um so Quilpy to Windora is uh, 247 kilometres and it's gonna take us two hours and forty five minutes. And so we also need to put the dash mount on for that, the action four, and i be I can't wait to actually have a look to see how much um, bounciness it takes out of the car. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. interesting to see that. Anyway, on our way, let's on go. Way. Let's go. So I'm inside the caravan, it's actually quite windy outside. I'm running the air con, and we're off grid. It's on 25 degrees. Now I've got a King's generator out there that my daughter lent me. And at 23 degrees, it just keeps turning off. I can't run the fridge and the air con together at the same time. So, and it just keeps off and it keeps turning off. So I don't know how long it's gonna last for, but let's go out and have a listen to it. Tracy's just doing the washing. Finished. Dried oh, you in finished? Half an hour. Dried in half an hour. And this is walk over to the to it. We've got a ride over here. So that is just two two kVA I think. It's 2.2 maximum power, but it just does the aircon. As I said, it won't run it at 23. I've had to put it on 25 and it seems to be okay. It won't go with the fridge either. Um, and it took me like well, how long did it take me to start it? Half an hour. At least half an hour, and I had, to, I had to pull half the carburetor apart, get the fuel through it somehow, and um, yeah, just lucky I know how to fiddle around for engines, but it was just a, it was just a pain thing to start, and probably 29, 30, 50, 100 pull starts, wasn't it? Yeah, So that's a little review on the Kings. Probably, I think a Honda one would be all right. Yeah. But we'll see how that one goes at 25 degrees. It's quite cool in the caravan, but, but we're just mainly giving it a test run, aren't we? say that? Yep. Go. Are you pointing to me? I'm pointing at you. Alright, John, before, oh, you know what people are like, before they start saying about having generators with other campers, can you show them well, how far away we are? Well, that guy in the sun seeker does have a generator he as well. He does have a generator. But we'll go and have there. a look anyway. We'll go and have a look because I won't turn it on if the campers are closer. Then obviously tonight we'll just turn it off. But they're right down there. You can barely see them. I mean, when we pulled up next to them over there to say hello, they actually had a generator. I don't know what brand it was, um, but it, I would say probably a Honda or something because it was it was really quiet. But even just here at the back of the caravan, the King's one is surprisingly quiet. Now my daughter and son-in-law used it in their horse flight probably oh, five or six times, and they said it does stop every now and again. So, but as I said, it. Um, oh, look at the scratches from that tree. You said you said the little. Oh no, it's just dust. How hot do you reckon it is? Oh, it's, it is really nice in here. Ooh. It just takes that humidity out, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 36. So, I don't know if you said anything. Anyway, no matter. So, we are 11 kilometres east of Windora. 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 Just as a free camp. We were uh, going to go and camp in near the hotel at Windora, but there's really not a lot to do in this town, so we thought we'd just camp out here. Camp out here and check out the um, the generator. The generator, because I don't want to carry around uh, what twenty kilos or whatever it weighs plus yeah. fuel if it's not going to be any good. Yeah. So it's only going to get hotter. It's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the daughter and son-in-law said, "Take it with us." And the only thing we have to do in Windora is vote for the referendum tomorrow. It's and, such a hard place out, and, out um, here to find a voting It's not poll. on the proper, it's not, we're not on October the 14th either. It's we're remote, so the polling days or the whatever voting days are different days. Yeah. So Windora is the only place I could find. With the voting thing. With the voting thing in the direction we're going. At yeah. the time we're going to be here. So it's such a pain in the neck. I wish they did it online. It would be good online. Yeah. Cooper's Creek. Um, it's really just dirt and one toilet. 
Over the bridge over there is Windora, 11 kilometres away. There's a toilet there. We've turned the generator off now because it's cooled down. I wouldn't say it's cool, um, but it's cooled down. I don't think we'll use it to go to bed tonight. Well, these flies are shocking. I'd have to get my fly net out, I think. It's very humid. How, like how hot it is. These flies are pretty shit though. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I might have to put my fly net on my face or something. They are, they're all over me. You're just, you're like a princess being in that caravan with the freaking generator running, with the air conditioner on. You saw the flies on me, look at them. Well, don't come to the outback. <laughs> Simple. True. So we are ready to leave. This is a beautiful campsite. And we just got to go in and vote. Get... Ah, oh, I've got the prickles again. Um, vote, get some diesel, get some unleaded for the generator, get some gas. Um, there's a few other things as well. I can't remember what we're going to do. But yeah, so we we're just about ready to go. Everyone else has left us here. We're all by ourselves. It's just so. There's actually not that many places along the river that you can camp unless you want to be really close to other people. So, yeah, the flies are a bit annoying. Let's see, oh god, what is she doing? She should be out soon. Oh, this tape's coming off again. So I've just taped that because when um, we see a um, when we see a car or truck coming, we actually pull right over the side of the road so, and give them the whole road if it's a single lane tar, bit of tar, so um, we don't get showered with rocks and stuff because I, you know, I don't want any broken window or damaged, anything damaged, so I'd rather just pull over and just let them go. Here she comes. Old oh, slow coach. Come on. Time to hit the road, Jack. So, Tracy has just forgot to do her checks for a change see I'm on top of it I've got the mirrors done I've done all my checks and she just sat in the car and said oh the Starlink's not down but we just taken it down like five minutes ago so I don't know she says I've got a goldfish brain but anyway or memory so she's just walking around having a check now she'll be back and then we'll be off what is it today it's it's only 22 degrees today for now it actually cooled down quite well last night it got down quite to a nice temperature so, anyway, we're going to take over this, this bridge. I'm scared of heights, and I don't like these skinny, skinny bridges, eh? I don't have a problem driving over them. I just don't like that it's a little bit high. Oh, hang on, here she, oh, hang on, what is she doing? Shake the flies off. Hey. Shake the flies off. Okay, you've done, done all your checks? I've done my checks now. All right. I, okay. just, I just, John started to drive it. I'm like, stop the Starlink. Yeah, no, I just And I'd them. only just done it. I know. Bloody idiot. I know, and you tell, you tell everyone that I've got a goldfish memory. <laughs> all right, I want you to film this bridge that we're going to go over. All right. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. We've been over it twice. This is like the third time home. This bridge down here. Now, John doesn't like heights and he doesn't like bridge driving over bridges. And this bridge... Well, you know, when it's got sides on it, it actually makes a difference for some reason. <laughs> we it's... just watched a B double drive over this at like 100 kilometres. I know. I don't didn't know how we did it. Down. I'm going I over it at 20 kilometres and I'm, I'm like shitting myself again. The anxiety John's, I'm having. At John the moment, has very bad anxiety. It's just gone through the roof. Like, that's crazy. It's very, very thin. This is at 20 kilometres. Yeah. It's not that bad, but yeah, for me it is. Anyway, right. Red Darn If you haven't gone over Mooney Mooney Bridge, oh, going from Mooney. Sydney to Golford. I don't like Sydney to like Gosford. I don't like Mooney. No, John doesn't. And the other new bridge that's over at um that new highway going up there. What's that big that Oh near really, um that really oh, big one? Near not Evans Head. Near Yamba. It is so high my hands start to sweat. I'd rather actually take turn off and go the back way to, just to avoid that bridge. Does anyone else have a husband with anxiety like that? 
Pop it in the comments below. It'll be interesting, John. It will be interesting. It will be interesting. It will be interesting. Do you have anxiety and yeah. I'll drive anywhere, back up anywhere to do anything, but when it comes to heights and bridges, <laughs> no, forget that. Alright, let's go. Alright. Okay, so just as we're driving into Windora on Wiki Camps, this is a point of interest. So of course I'm gonna stop and show you. Don't get excited. It's not that exciting. It's called the Spinifex Downs Truck. There you go guys, it's a truck. Just on the side of the road. The truck's truck driver. Truck driver's still there. Looking a bit decrepit. And he's still got his livestock. Oink oink. Look at the wheel. It's got Christmas lights. I've got no information on that. It's just on Wikicamp, so we thought we'd stop. So while John's putting some diesel in at Windora, $2.53 a litre. So the house next to the pumps, what's in the front yard? Windora Community Centre. And we've just done it. We've done the vote. Done the vote. So now, legal. Now, now we can relax. No restrictions there. No, yeah. I feel like every time we say to everyone, nothing's stopping us, nothing's holding us back, something happens. Oh, we're just chasing the So places, eh? yeah, We've voted. So now it's done like, and dusted. Let's just go. Right. Time to go to the dump point. Your turn. <laughs> hey, John, just before we leave Windora, yeah. did you know Windora used to was originally known as Sandy Point. No, I did not know. Um, well, it is very sandy out there, actually. <laughs> it oh, is. Oh, yeah. um, the tiny flies, eh? Like weenies. Little flies. Um, they changed the name to Windora, which means it's an Aboriginal word meaning big fish. Big fish. Oh, actually, no, I've seen that at the service station. Oh, did you? Yeah, it had a little plaque up there. Wow. 